Hey guys, welcome to the fifth episode in overcoming social anxiety. I'm Jakob Carlsen and I was diagnosed with social anxiety myself. And in these videos, I share the tools that I learned in my own journey so that you can overcome this problem yourself. Today we're talking about something I'm really passionate about and something that I find critical and that is getting comfortable with being with just yourself. So this doesn't necessarily mean being with just yourself isolated in a room away from strangers and the world. Uh, it more means getting comfortable with yourself around strangers in the world. And why is this important to talk about and why is this an important principle? Well, the thing is, if you're struggling with social anxiety, uh, the chances are that you are in this place where you are very comfortable with yourself, isolated from the world. You probably found a spot uh, where the anxiety is pretty limited and where you can be in control of your environment. And you need to feel this control that is important, but if you don't challenge yourself, if you don't go further, if you don't take the next steps, you're gonna be stuck. And every time you walk out, it's gonna be like a new shock for you. So we need to practice this and exercise this principle that is getting comfortable with ourselves out in the world. So what does this look like? Well, while I was recovering from social anxiety myself, I decided to take this principle in action uh, quite a lot and when I was almost over this problem I decided to do something that I really wanted to do for a long time that is I went to California uh, to meet my sister who is working with homeless people and recovering drug addicts and I spent most of my time during those three weeks with complete strangers with people that have been addicted to heroin and crack people that have been in jail for selling drugs and guns I saw some crazy scars and I heard some intense stories. Uh, after this, I took uh, some days by myself. I drove around in California. I slept at a random hotel that I found. I slept in the Airbnb with a stranger uh, and I just did whatever I wanted to do, uh, whenever I wanted to do it, which was great and it was a really freeing and an empowering vacation for me. Uh, the thing with this is that when we put this principle in action, we want to choose a location and a place to go where people don't know us, where it's just us and new people. And this is really good because whatever happens, if you feel any anxiety, if you feel like you made a fool out of yourself, whatever, chances are you're never gonna see these people ever again. I really liked going to another country, just another place, uh, but you can might as well just put this principle in action with your everyday life, with just pick a new grocery store instead of going in a drive through for coffee, go to, to the walk-in at Starbucks or something like that. Just make sure that you get that constant uh, exposure of people. So to challenge you guys today, uh, I challenge you to do this exactly. Step number one, go find another grocery store where you haven't been before uh, and go there by yourself, get whatever you need. And as you buy, I want you to ask the cashier that's there and ask them simply this, hey, how was your day? Step number two, say this as you keep eye contact. And then whatever they say, whatever, if you want to remember it or not, if you want to follow up or not, you don't have to. But then you can say, cool. When you everything is done, when you get your things, make sure, look the person in, I say, thank you, bye. And then you can leave. So I encourage you to do this challenge. Uh, do it maybe even on a daily basis if possible, but make sure to get that uh, connection with other people with a strange person and do it in an environment where if you don't want to be there again if you feel like something uh, went wrong you can pick another place to go and if you live in a small town this might be more challenging but i encourage you to take your car and drive off to another place maybe a next city or something like that so if you like the content Hit a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be making more content like this for you guys. And uh, also write in the comments, let me know. Uh, did you guys try any of my principle, any of the exercises? Did it work, did it not work? 
Do you have any questions about them? I'd love to answer those questions. Also, if you want to book a conversation with me, uh, you can uh, do that in the description below or send me an email. It's also in the description below. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.